Well, hello there, and welcome to something on Sunday. Now, uh, this is the intro, obviously. My daughter and I are going to a concert tonight, and I don't think they'd let me bring the camera in, so I'm just going to bring my phone and I'll shoot some video. And um, Minneapolis, St. Paul, we are just the Twin Cities. We're blessed. We have a lot of the arts, whether it's theater, music, our local music is phenomenal. Um, there's just something for everyone in Minneapolis and or St. Paul. And a lot of the venues are really, really cool. Tonight we're going to the Myth, and the Myth is, it's not like a huge concert stadium type situation like the Excel or the Target Center. Um, it's a little bit bigger than, you know, a bar situation per se, and uh, so more so than just sharing the band with you, which I will shoot some footage of them on my phone, I will um, try to get a good layout of the venue so you get a feel for that too. Um, the myth is in Maplewood, Minnesota. And the band we're going to see is Hollywood Undead. I think, Riley, is this going to be my sixth time? I don't know. I saw... It would be Rhiannon's seventh, I think. I saw them at 93 X Fest, which that was the last X Fest 93 had. Why? I don't know. I saw them there. I saw them in Duluth. I saw them at some little bar in St. Paul, and it was freaking freezing. Um, oh, I saw them when they opened for Avenged Sevenfold, so that's four. Oh, and then I saw them at the fine line, that was five. So now I'll be seeing them at the Myth. So yeah, it's my sixth time. Both my daughters and I really love this band and try to see them whenever they come into town. So, hmm. Ree won't be joining us. Yeah, Ree won't be joining us tonight, but go ahead and enjoy the video footage that I, I've never done this with my phone and uploaded it to YouTube, so I'm not even sure how this is all gonna work out, but we'll, we'll try and figure it out. And hmm, I think that's it. So I will hopefully be back with a something on Sunday next week too. Okay, enjoy. Bye. Smith standing in line. Riley is freezing. Here we are freezing, waiting to get inside. We have 29... No, 31 minutes left. It's cold. Say bye, Riley. <laughs>
Hey everyone, so we're back from the concert and we actually got home a lot earlier than anticipated because Hollywood Undead was the second band. There were three um, and uh, we didn't, we really weren't, I'd never even heard of the third band so I'm like, let's go. And my daughter was fine with that. So the concert was fabulous. Um, Butcher Babies, I've never heard any of their music but they rocked it out. They were awesome and fun and sexy and beautiful and I've never heard women do screamo like that. I was like, wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and Hollywood Undead, oh my god. They get better each time. It's like you think you, they couldn't get better because they've always been like, they've been a fun band you know but they have matured and grown and they are like awesome showmen and um, they're great guys too my my daughters watch YouTube videos and interviews and things like that and you kind of feel like you know these people even though you don't and uh, I just thought it was really cool and um, J-Dog was uh, it was really awesome because when he saw people trying to take pictures of him on stage, he would stop and smile, and I just thought, that is so cool, dude, so shout out. We also met, we met this couple when we were standing outside in line, and by the way, I don't know, I think venues have to come up with something, because this is Minnesota, and it was freaking freezing, and um, as crowded as these concerts get, you can't wear a winter coat, and like, your Sorel boots and all that shit, you know. We were out there for an hour and a half. I thought I was going to die. I'm old! Um, but anyway, we met this couple and um, the wife had gotten her husband tickets for his birthday. His birthday's Tuesday. And, um, and uh, so it was his first time seeing Hollywood Undead. We ended up standing <clears throat> by them and the whole group of people around us were so nice. it was like a community almost it was so cool people were so nice and we were talking and you know talking about music and this band and that band and it just it was awesome i uh my back started spasming i'm getting old again i gotta keep saying it i'm getting old damn i need nice concerts where you sit down in a chair and you're all old and decrepit and just snapping your fingers to the music. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not that old. But yeah, my back really started to bother me. And because Hollywood Undead is so well known and people really like flock to see them, as soon as they came on stage, man, people start surging forward. And by their very last song, which is one of my favorite songs, I said to my daughter, I said, baby, I... I can't do this. I'm going to have a panic attack because my back is spasming. People are elbowing me in the head. I'm not mad at those people. It's just, it's, it's the price you pay for general admission, right? But it was a great concert. It was so good. Thank you, Hollywood Undead. You guys always do great. Johnny, my daughter tagged you in an Instagram a while back saying that I wanted to see you in a kilt. I don't know why you didn't wear... A kilt, I think it would be, you know, just a beautiful thing for every woman there. I know you're taken. I'm an old lady. I'm not crazy or anything. I'm not a mill for a cougar or whatever. But, you know, it would have made all of us, all ages, happy. Wear a kilt next time you come to Minnesota because we'll be here. All right. Becca and Chad, it was wonderful meeting you. Thank you. And you guys have a great night. Bye.